Hey guys, this is Kun. Today I'm going to talk about poker. Poker is the most stable income source for casino chips. Basically, the more you play, the more you win. If you're not winning any chips, probably your luck was really bad or you simply didn't know how to play. The first part of poker is very easy. All you have to do is to win by getting a combination of two pair or better cards. And then you will start betting for higher or lower in the double up. Now here comes the tricky part. Knowing how to play is not enough. You must know when to quit. Let us take a look at the winning rates of double up. You might start wondering after seeing this chart. The winning rate is so high, that means most of the time, your chance of winning is more than 50%. Then why we are still losing our chips? And why I always get an ace when I'm holding a K? The winning rates which we have seen in this chart are actually the standard winning rates for two pair and three of a kind. So what about the winning rates for other hand combinations? According to my theory and my observation through thousand rounds of poker, there is a random factor behind these winning rates. When you get a better hand combination, such as flush, straight, etc. Since we don't have a specific term for this factor, let us call it RNG level. So what does this RNG level do? To put it simple, RNG level increases in tandem with the payout of your hand combination and it randomizes your winning rate by a certain degree. The higher the payout, the higher the RNG level and the lower the winning rate. Thus, it is harder for players to gauge and to win. So is there any trick to beat this factor? Honestly, no. And you actually don't need one to beat it. Why? Because winning one round of poker, let's say 50k chips, allows you to try and lose for another 500 times. You can easily accumulate a mass amount of chips as long as you keep going. All you have to do is to mitigate your lose and increase your chance of winning by knowing when to quit. Tip number one. If you got two pair or three of a kind, which the RNG level is relatively low, and for at least 1,600 to 3,000 chips every round, keep going until you see seven or eight. If you already earn more than 3,000 chips, when you see these two numbers, it is better for you to stop and start a new round. Tip number two. If your hand combination is better than two pair, keep going until you see five, six, seven, eight, or nine. When you see these numbers, remember to think twice before you click, because the RNG level is now higher, and it's very likely for you to lose your chips. Last but not least, though poker is a very steady source to earn cash of chips, it doesn't mean it is the best way for you to get rich. Trust me, you don't want and you don't need to spend hours and hours on poker table for NX. I stopped playing poker when I hit 300k chips. And then I move on to bingo. Identify your goals, be patient, take your chips and leave when you have to. You will be there in no time. This is Kun. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to share, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.